Yesterday I was kind of mad to my mom because I'm like, listen, if I told her no, it is no. You don't need to tell her that you're going to talk to me. That's it. Because that just seems like you're undermining my parenting as her mother. And that's that's not it. You also make her feel like every time I tell her no to something, she could come to you and you're going to fix it. No, absolutely not. <laughs> behind well not really I woke up early but but I've just been laying down like watching videos and like doing stuff on my phone now it's almost 10 o'clock and I literally have to go make some breakfast do my hair in the process of like figuring something out on my computer just a little all over the place and it is 947 setting things yesterday oh my god the day that i had yesterday yesterday i was so frustrated because while i'm at work listening to um the morning report i'm checking my email at the same time don't even know why oh well, yeah kind of because every day i normally check my emails to like see what's going on i'm checking my emails i was looking for a specific email i'm checking my emails and then i see an email saying that my account was charged 108 dollars and 86 cents twice $216 and I'm just like hold on now my sister has access to my Amazon account and it did say that it was from Amazon my sister has access to my Amazon account my daughter also has the same access just in a different way because she has it on like a fire tablet and I'm like I'm gonna kill one of them I don't know which one it is but one of them did something I like to find out it was my daughter it was a long story she bought Robux for Roblox so irritated they said it was an in-app purchase the entire time i'm so irritated because i've been telling her no for weeks i told her that when her math grades improve then i would buy it for her but until then we're not talking about it anyways i figured out that it was her who bought it had to call amazon amazon kind of gave me my money back but the man was kind of giving me a run around at the same time too because i there was another instance before where she bought something it was eight dollars and like he gave me the money back and he's like yeah you're either gonna have to turn on parental control which i thought i did which is so well to me or you're gonna have to take your account off of there because i don't have it in my hand i'm just like yeah take it off take it right off because we're not gonna go through these issues of 116 dollars being gone from my account again to make me mad so we took it off she was so apologetic though she was crying hysterically in a voice message that she sent me she's like mom i'm so sorry I wouldn't have but it it all came down to like miscommunication between me her and my mother not really me her and my mother but my mother and her telling her that she's gonna talk to me so yesterday I was kind of mad to my mom because I'm like listen if I told her no it is no you don't need to tell her that you're gonna talk to me that's it because that just seems like you're undermining my parenting as her mother and that's that's not it you also make her feel like every time I tell her no to something she could come to you and you're gonna fix it no absolutely not and this here is exactly why when I say no to something it's gonna stay as a no because I don't want her feeling like she can go swindle your grandmother into swindling me into swindling into swindling until we're not doing that no I said no it's no and 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 that's all we're not even gonna have conversations about this anymore. What is my what is my password? So that was irritating, to say the least. Like, so many to start the day. I was very irritated, and that was mainly irritated because I did. We already had the conversation like the day before, and I told her no. So for her to even go and ask her grandmother to like come talk to me, that got me tight. Okay, she was calling me afterwards, and I'm like, yeah, don't call me. I don't want to talk to you. Because, like, I'm so upset. And normally how I process these situations is, listen, I'm going to have to deal with it anyways. So, like, I try not to get upset and just deal with it with a level head. But I was so mad. Just based on the mere fact that the day prior, I had told her no. So, the fact that she even went behind me and was asking grandma, like, that got me so tight. But, you know, the fact, like I said, that she was so apologetic about the whole thing made a huge difference, you know. She texted me and she's like, I don't deserve anything. Like, seriously, like, I know what I did. I'm so sorry. She's very apologetic. You know how some kids, like, they do things and they're not 
it's just like oh, okay <laughs> no she's very apologetic and i like that so she learned her lesson from that because now there's no amazon account on her fire tablet to do anything at all not even to purchase things if they're free so that has to really suck for her but i think i'll put it back on there she maybe in another week or so but like she has the, their consequences for your actions and this right here would be the consequence for said actions so i took it off and i think i'm gonna put it back on maybe within like a week or so but when it goes back on i'm gonna have my sister turn on the parental control which i'm assuming will allow every time she tries to make a purchase it to pop up but i feel like the way how my daughter is doing like how she was raised she knows better considering the fact that all of this happened and she lost it she's not gonna try that again not even if it's a dollar and typically before she would ask me before even trying to make any of those purchases and some of them if it's cheap and it's like a one-time purchase i'd tell her yes but i told her that i specifically was not buying the robux because it was not a one-time purchase it's a subscription i refuse to pay for a subscription of that nature i also told her that if her math grade improved i would have paid for it for like six months but they weren't necessarily improving or like not at the time anyways um, as i hear that thing going off i'm waiting for a package from amazon let me see if it's coming today actually with some automatic spur refills because that one went out and my life completely revolves around it so now we wait it's not even coming today my life vitamins are coming today tomorrow Something else is coming Thursday the automatic spirit refills are coming and this sounds like a lot of purchases but it's like small stuff and it's like one item each and my vitamins obviously are important I bought this really cute oversized beach hat let me show you it is super cute I'm really oh god and my sister sent it to me and I never even read the reviews when she sent it to me and I'm not gonna lie I don't really have a lot of good ones I don't know, but it looks nice. I think I at least looked at the pictures. Not the hat in the picture. I mean, it looks big enough. But everybody's seeing is not exactly as pictured. Curious George much. <laughs> God, it is terrible. Wow. So I bought it, but nobody likes it. So love that for me. And I bought it a hot minute ago at this point. I can't even cancel the order because it already shipped. Ship probably coming from China. It's crazy because I had one in my cart on AliExpress and I don't know why I never even bothered buying that one. Now here we are. Yesterday I also went on Eagle Official shoes and I bought two cute little shoes. They look something like this. And these kind of mimic the um new Bottega shoes and I really like them not because they mimic the new Bottega shoes because I feel like we're a designer not we're a designer it's not that serious but these are like low enough where they look like you could stand in them all night so I was very intrigued by that in itself so I bought two I bought a black and I think a nude because I don't currently own any shoes that are nude and I have so many black pairs should have never bought black but that is coming in I'm super excited but that's all the spending for this week and I'm not buying anything else for the rest of the week let me try to justify my spending habits I got yeah okay it's 9 56 I need to go make some breakfast I'm not gonna shower until like I'm ready or like almost ready because it's too hot outside to shower from so early to only be hot by the time it's time to leave so I'm going to make some breakfast I don't know what I'm gonna make share some lunch and figure the rest of the day out I guess